Welcome to Tech Talk. We're here at the track this weekend here with Greg Stucker, director of racing at Goodyear. We're going to be talking about innerliners. So tell me about the innerliner and what that, what that does in the race. Well, the innerliner is actually, uh, you know, our, our very first run flat technology developed back in 1966. And on every racetrack in NASCAR uh, of a mile uh, in length or greater, we actually run the innerliner inside the outer tire. So it's actually a tire within a tire. And if we look at if we look at this mounted or not yet mounted tire here, you can actually see that the this this tire has an inner liner or a tire inside. And that's that's stuffed in there manually. So that um, you know we, we we run that in every position of the race car. And, and the purpose is if if the outer tire gets cut down and then this inner tire is inside and it gives the driver some control to get the tire back to, hopefully get the car back to the pits and get that tire changed. Now, how do you get the inner liner filled with air? Is it as simple as the regular tire? Yeah, it's, it's actually just like the, just like the, the regular tire. We run a, a two valve stem assembly, so the outer inflates the outer tire and the inner inflates the inner tire or the inner liner. And the way we do that is through the flutes that we saw, the channels on the, on the outer portion of the inner, inner liner, and, and this outer valve stem blows up air through those channels, goes up around the outside of the inner tire and into the outer tire. Greg, we appreciate your insight on the inner liner. And for more technology information, make sure you stay logged on to NASCAR.com for more tech talk.